Welcome back to my round two game of GPK. I'm playing against Deadcat, who's on Quixus Control, which I'm not looking forward to because they have counter spells. And, well, not that, not even that, but they have hard counters like uh, Cursing Lance, which does hit my most of my cards. I mean, it doesn't hit Chart or Lay Around, but it hits Recall even if it gets Coalesced. So I'm not looking for forward to encountered out of the game. I mean, like, if they have a counter spell curve, I'm not a good spot. I still might get there anyways, because if I, like, get the Tamiyo curve, then whatever. Alright, this is an interesting hand, because there's lots of ramp, but my payoff is a stand unstable. Can I afford to keep this? But what's the worst thing that can happen? Uh, I draw nothing but lands, I play stand, I pull a stand eventually. Is that worth it? Ugh. I, don't re I really don't want to go down cards. Okay, so, like, what am I ac actually worried about? First of wave also counters, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Like, I'm gonna draw two, so... I mean, that's a decent number of chances to draw into something, so yeah, I'll keep this. Unfortunately, like, that's just... I mean, I, I have one copy of Stand on the table in the, the main board because I can chart for it in order to stabilize against decks that have face burn. And they're going for... Hmm. Alright, so I think they're probably Veldezzing. In that case, they're probably going to Veldez low and see that I have absolutely nothing. Act I'll be pretty happy to play Veldez high, actually. Because then I get to pitch my useless Stand on the table. Yeah, they low me, so... Unfortunately, I have to discard what my primary insurgence is. So my hand is not looking that good, because if I keep drawing lands here, then I'm out of gas. But at least I get a turn 1 primary resurgence. Uh, yeah, that's not great. Alright, so what am I worried about? Do they have anything that can hit lands? Uh, no, they don't, luckily enough. Like, they don't have recoil, right? Yeah, they don't have recoil. The play here is to fetch so that they don't know that I drew a forest, and then play primary resurgence on my land, and hope to top deck something next turn. A cameo would be really nice. Down, uh, I mean, Recall Pagan and Ale would also be quite nice. What else am I looking forward to? Uh, Pale Scatter, probably. Uh, Logger Recluse is actually good here because I have lots of extra lands lying around. Unfortunately, they probably have a Cursed Glance up. Uh, yeah, like if I jam Recall into this and they, it gets Cursed Glance, am I fine with that? I mean, they also have Portal Factor, right? And ready for... They have Portal Factor and Cosmic. If I can knock a Portal Factor out of their hand before they have Wanderlust, I think that's fine. Like if I go Mysterious Counter Extend, uh, Recall Forgotten Aeons is... I mean, if I go Cataract Stand, is that too passive? Like, should I just force them to have it? How much can I actually uh, can I actually play around counter spells in this situation? I don't think I can play around that much, honestly. Like, if I jam this into their counter spell, they untap. Next turn, they have to have another counter spell if I top deck something good. I think I convinced myself, so in that case, I have to Mysterious Cataract fetch for um, that land, the one that makes my basics tap for colors. Which does hit me a bunch in the face, but like this is a control matchup. Life doesn't really matter until it does. But I have stand on the saleable, and which they're probably not going to counter. So that's like 14, 14 extra life for me. Anyways, show me the portal factor. Okay, I mean it got a portal factor off their hand before they had one lust, so that's good. And I think it kind of does that mean they don't have cursed glance? Like on one hand they might have saved cursed glance later in case I have mana, but on the other hand maybe they save portal factor for when they have wanderlust. I think it is probably a sign that they don't have cursed glance. Well, hmm. I think I just play stand on the table here, right? Yeah, I play stand and then I keep Leyrand in back pocket. Like, I have Leyrand, recall going to the next few turns. Yeah, it's not great, but it's not horrible. Anyways, I'm just gonna jam stand on the table. No way they counter this. Maybe I should have kept this in hand in case they have. Oh, they're countering. Oh, never mind. They're ready for anything. I mean, I feel like this is kind of a risky thing to do right now because I might have a Logger Recluse or Pronouncer Preserves, which is way better. But I think that does mean they don't have any counter spells, because they definitely would have held up more held up mana if they had counter spells. Anyways, I gain seven life, so I'll go up to twenty three, and then I do nothing else, which is kind of unfortunate. If I top deck charge the bath, that'd be really nice because it forces them to have a counter spell for it, and then the next turn I have layer rat into my two coalesce cards. Uh, but yeah, for now I just have to pass, which is unfortunate. Actually, I should fetch a, a forest before I draw next turn, just to thin my deck very slightly. But now that they get to 3 mana, so they have Crystal Wave going. Do they have Cane Dancer in their deck? Yeah, they have Cane Dancer. So they have the possibility of Cane Dancer stuff with a mana backup. Or like, Cane Dancer plus another 2 drop. You know, it's not looking great for me. But maybe they just don't have a counter spell for Layer and Alpha. Uh, plus the Coalesce guys afterwards. They probably do, but I mean, it's good to hope. You know, they're just going to drop Dilution. Alright, they're tapping out. Well, wonderful. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a way to play Layer and Alpha, but like, if I... So if I top deck Charge of Bath here, this would be really good, because they're sh going shields down for a turn. So yeah, please top deck something good that can punish them for this play. Uh, uh, 
Why? This, this is like the one time I draw too many lands. All the other times I got masked. This time I'm getting flooded. And not even that flooded, but just not having any good plays. Anyways, I have to play this here. Uh, Lips of Petal Scatter. Do I want to top that? Not really, because not impactful enough. But maybe I have to, because I really don't want to draw more lands. Like, what happens if they uh, hand attack me and take Lairan? Uh, yeah, this thing has to go on top. I, if I get hand attack and Lairan gets discarded, it's just way too disastrous for me to draw land. Because then I just have nothing to do in two turns in a row. Actually, I could animate Crumbling Shrine. Actually, yeah, I should end it. I'll end up turn animate Crumbling Shrine. Uh, they're gonna attack me with Lucian. All right, that's good. They're not drawing card for it. So it probably means they have a Cosmic Synchro up then. I mean, they definitely do because I just saw them draw one. They're just gonna keep mana up this turn to counter. Okay, uh, does this incentivize them to use a removal spell? Yeah, if they don't, then I can start attacking Lucian. All right, so let's see. When do I get off the top? Pell Scatter, of course, because I knew it was coming. Actually, Pearl Scar was not a good thing to top deck there because, well, it doesn't matter either way. So playing Lairan Alpha is a loser's game because it gets countered. The plan here is to attack with Crumbling Shrine to Lucian. If they have a removal spell, they use it. And you can't even capitalize on them half tapping out, right? So I just have to play Pearl Scatter. Oh well. Anyways, uh, let's see what removal spells they have. I mean, they can minus the Crumbling Shrine if they really want to with Lucian afterwards. But yeah, they definitely have a removal spell. Crystal still waves. Yeah, sure. But unfortunately, that means I don't get to play Lairan Alpha afterwards, which is really unfortunate. Yes, I know. I know, really unfortunate. Uh, so I play Peril Scour, put the land aura on the forest again. Next turn, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. That's enough to start coalescing stuff, but that's not enough to play around Cosmic Sinkhole. So I think I just have to like force my way through Cosmic Sinkhole. Uh, but at least I use up a Crystal Wave as a removal spell, so that's not going towards Lairan Alpha at least. Anyways, Peril Scatter. I'm assuming it resolves. So, I mean, if they want to Lucian minus this, then feel free to, because it already got its value ramping. And if you don't deal with it, it's, it's going to attack Lucian. In fact, it even blocks Lucian pretty well, right? Oh, that's Death Touch. Ugh. Well, I can take through to a face again. I mean, this is basically a value game. My goal is to resolve Layer and Alpha somehow. And, like, Crystal Wave is the only thing that counters Layer and Alpha if I have enough uh, mana up, right? Because everything else is not actually... Everything else is cost-based. So yeah, uh, I, a, I, I think I can play Layer on Alpha through Cosmic Synchro and Aura Four Factor, and they can't really deal with Layer on Alpha, right? Or at least not very cleanly. Like Recluse, a little bit late to draw that. Anyways, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I can't do that through. Okay, so what's the plan here? I can't afford to just jam Layer on Alpha into something and get countered, right? So I think the plan here is to call that stand unassailable because that uses up all my mana. I'm going to try to draw more lands, and once I have 8 lands, I'll try to layer an alpha with enough mana to pay for Poro Factor or Cosmic Sinkhole. Uh, this play gets, uh, this play is really bad if I, if everyone exactly has access to Cursory Glance. So that means they have to have, not have a Cane Dancer and only have a Cursory Glance. Would they be sitting on a Cursory Glance? Okay, so what happens if I do go for a play and it gets countered? Aside from being, me being really sad. I get to draw Logger Recluse afterwards, so I'm empty handed and I get wrecked by Memento Mori. Am I fine with that outcome? Oh, they have Cosmic Synchro. Yeah, they definitely have Cosmic Synchro in hand, so why am I... Like, they definitely have it, so I shouldn't be jamming Layer and Alpha into a known Cosmic Synchro. In that case, yeah, I should be jamming Stan on the table into a known Cosmic Synchro. Because, like, even if they counter it, then all I lose is a Stan on the table, which is probably my least valuable card right now. And also means I lose less to Memento Mori, so yeah, I'll go for that. Well, let's see what they do against this. Are they going to counter it? There we go. Okay, I got rid of their Cosmic Synchro from hand. So basically, I'm hoping to top deck a land next turn and play Layer on Alpha. There's a way he, uh, the way they played, kind of suggests that they don't have another counter spell, or else they'd be keeping up more mana. Or, okay, right, three damage. Um, they're not plusing Lucian to draw cards either. That's kind of weird. Does that mean they have everything they need in hand already, or they think that this game is a race or something? Okay, another Logger Recluse. Hmm. All right. I mean, I know they don't have Cosmic Synchro, like, or I don't know that they have another Cosmic Synchro. So I think it's safe for me to jam Layer on Alpha now. If Larian Alpha gets countered, I play Logger Recluse, and then the next turn they have to deal with the Recall Forgotten Aeons. So unless they have exactly Memento Mori plus a counter spell, I'm alright with what's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, that's the amount mana I need. Anyways, uh, show me the counter spell. Another Cosmic Synchro. Yep, I'm fortunate, but that's fine. I still have Logger Recluse. That thing can uh, eventually hit down Lucian. Will that resolve? Alright, so next turn I'm going to call this Recall Forgotten Aeons. Uh, they're sacking the clue, sure. Am I worried about them just killing me through life. Like, what burn do I have? They have Void Flares, they have Zanagan, sort of. That's kind of like burn. 
maybe I shouldn't go too low, but t I think 10 is still kind of safe enough. Like, if they attack with Lucian, then I'm just going to attack back with Lager. Yeah, go Acme. Like, I can win a late game if I match a resolve uh, a Tamiyo or a Charge of Vast and go off like that. A Tamiyo's basically making, or breaking even in mana right now. So drawing Tamiyo would be really nice. I can go Tamiyo into Coles, Recalfricon Aeons, so at least I still have something on board afterwards. Anyways, what do I get? Arm Resurgence. Interesting. Well, so here I attack Vlogger Reckless on Lucian and see what they do. If they tap out sort of to deal with it, then it doesn't leave me that in that good of a spot. I think it's, I want to play Recall for Gone Aeons, right? And I can do that, or I have enough mana to do that. Do I want to delay it by turns out more mana in case they have Cosmic Sync Hole? Like, I have 8 mana this turn, or 8 mana next turn. I have 7 mana this turn. What are chances they have another counter spell? Pretty high because they're plusing Lucian, or they're attacking with Lucian instead of drawing cards with him. I'm going to play here as a primary surgeon on the island, on the forest. Try to coalesce Recall for Gone Aeons. Yeah, I need to play it safe, I think. So attack Lucian. Prime Wizards on the forest, play Logger Reckless number 2. Uh, keep up the cell on Lucian, because I have Lethal on Lucian next turn if they don't do anything about this. No blocks? Okay. Uh, are you going to kill the Logger Reckless in response? No, they're just going to take on Lucian, which is still good for them because Lucian already got in so much damage. They're going to knock me down to 7 next turn. That's not great. Hmm. Alright, uh, Prime Wizards on forest. Are right, they going to counter this? They also Monument Queens up, which is uh, concerning. Are you going to ready for anything in response? Yeah, sure. So oh, they make a clue. Are they going to crack the clue now? Yeah. So like this looks really scary to them if they don't have a counter spell, but unfortunately all I have is Logger Recluse, which I will play out right now because uh, I have nothing better to do. I, I need these guys in play so I can actually start attacking with these guys. I wonder if I shouldn't have animated my Crumbly trying that turn. I probably shouldn't have, honestly, because that means I would have more mad right now, which means I could have gone down later on Alpha that one turn through a Pearl Factor or a Cosmic Sinkhole. A Vine Clap. Okay, that's bad for me. Unfortunate. Well, if they're out of counter spells, I can call this Recall for Gone Aeons, and they're forced to minus Lucian on it, which is still really good for them, but at least I got two cards off the deal. I just need to I just need them to run out of counter spells, like, and then start slamming layer and alphas. That's how I win here. The Logger Recluse still isn't gonna do it here. This is like one the one time where I actually want lands, but I don't have them. Well, so I'm gonna try to do this. If it fails, then I play Logger Recluse and try to chump. Because I still I need to start chumping now in, in case they have void flares. Uh okay. Yeah, this is really unfortunate. Okay, so now my plan is top deck and layer and alphas, and hoping they don't have a counter spell. Monkey shines, sure. I mean, top deck charge of bass can get me there, uh, and sacrificial bowl with this many lands in the yard can help me stabilize after the fact. But it's not looking great for me. Okay, Zanagan, yeah, that's concerning. They just have lethal on me now. Like if I I chump with a chump Lucian and Zanagan pluses on my face. So where are my outs right now? Maybe blocking there was not what I was supposed to do because I was pl supposed to be playing to my outs. Like if they activate Zanakin again, I lose. If I draw Crumbly Shrine, I lose. Okay, fine. Got me. Yeah, okay, so Pulse Board, I have way more stuff. So what do they have, Pulse Board? Forbidden Treasure, Seal the Tomb, Vine Collapse, uh, Mail Munch too. Uh, Mail Munch isn't a problem, but Secrets of Corlette Court kind of annoying too. How do I beat this? Um, well, Helene's, Helene definitely goes in. Urban Treasures definitely goes in. Sack Bowl, Sort 2. I don't want Dano and Sailor Bowls. Or else Layer and Alphas. I mean, they're great, but not when they have tons of counter spells. Do they go down on Pedal Scatters? No, Pedal Scatters are probably good. Uh, pronouncers, are they good? Uh, yeah, because they're kind of good against Planeswalkers. Because they're annoying to deal with. At the same time, they might have Vine Collapse. Are they going to board in Vine Collapse? Like, or board out Vine Collapse? Because outside of Pronouncer, Vine Collapse isn't that great. No oh, Sack Bowl 2. Okay. The thing with Charge of Vast is I really don't want to be resolving it, or if I resolve it and draw a bunch of cards, uh, I can't, I don't really have the time to resolve it. Cards, uh, how easily does card get turned on? Not very, so no. Segue, uh, do I want that? Not really. Like, Pedal Scatters are good, right? Uh, they get answered cleanly, though, but they leave behind some ramps, so like, if it forces them to have an answer and it also ramps me, so that's good. <laughs> then what else? Do I put out pronouncers then? Seems like, you know, actually, I bought out one logger. Because loggers are kind of bad in these long matchups. At least that's something I learned while playing Rejuvenation list Rejuvenation. I'm not sure if that's tr still true here. I want to shave on ramp. I don't think that's wrong, right? Pronounce I'll, I'll shave on some pronouncers, maybe. Uh, this is a really tough decision. Uh, I'll shave on pronouncer. And one more card. How good is Helene? That has to be great, right? Yeah, if I get Helene down and minus her, then they have to spend when... Uh, they can spend 
monkey shines on racking the uh, stance. Mm. Like if I get lean down and minus on critical turn, the delays are planeswalkers. Is that great? Not really. I guess I'll go with this. I mean, healing's just hard to deal with, right? Like I should. That's that. Uh, yeah. So final cut. Still pretty tough decision. Maybe it is one of these map guys. Logger recluse again. Uh, I don't want to cut logger. Loggers are good. Yeah. Early game. If I cut too much of my early game, then I kind of I like I need to get a fast early game to win. Maybe I just cut one more Leyran. I mean, I have chart. I like two Leyrans. Is that enough? I have Helene's. I have Tamios. Uh, none of them are super great. Maybe Sackbow is just not necessary. Like, do I have any grave things that I can hate? Yeah, uh, I cut Sackbow's here. Uh, I, I don't have anything to hate with the Sackbow's. So then I'll put back the Lager Recluse, right? I'll put back the Layer in Alpha. All right, let's go with this. I don't think this configuration is super great, but I don't really know what else to go with. Maybe I do want more Charter Vast. Like, three Charter Vasts might be a bit too small. Uh, maybe something like this instead, because Chart's way more important than Leyran, I think. Chart lets me completely refill. Leyran just tries to win the game. I can't win the game without Leyran. Yeah, I can, right? Just by uh, Helene. Or, no, Helene's not a win condition on its own. Like, Leyran Alpha is probably just the best card against them. I need to have multiple of them. In which case, I cut the Vast, or Charts, uh, whatever. I'll go with this. Anyways, what do I get? Amazing hand. I'll keep this. This is the exact sort of hand you want when you're playing this deck. You get a turn 3 Helene with enough mana to pay for any counter spells. And actually, Forbidden Treasure did that great against me because I have enough uh, non instant or sorceries. Like, the only things I have are charts, recalls, and actually, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, actually, yeah, it is just charts and recalls. Like, if I don't have any of these in my opening hand, then I'm fine with whatever. Uh, I'm fine with Forbidden Treasure hitting anything. So yeah, maybe Forbidden Treasure is a reason I should kind of board out of some charts. The Logger, the Logger or Primal first? I think the answer is Logger first because, or is it? Yeah, Logger first because uh, my lands are tapped. So I mean, next turn I go Logger or Primal Resurgence, right? If I draw another land. If I don't draw another land, then I just Primal Resurgence and swing with Logger. But they're going to make Monkey Shines early. All right, good, they're tapping out, so I don't have to worry about Cosmic Sinkhole. So let's see, Recall. Okay, that's, yeah, that's probably what I should be ramping into instead then. So fetch the island maker or island thing that makes everything, makes basic half for blue. And then primal, and then primal into recall. Yeah, it seems solid. So Seaside Grotto, play untapped. I do have to lose a bit of life from this. And by a bit, I mean like three, which isn't that much, I guess, considered, uh, compared to some other decks. It is a decent amount of life to lose the lands. Anyways, I have turn three, recall forgotten aeons. What do you have? If I draw two lands, I can logger into the remaining land. Well, I didn't draw two lands, but I can just forest primary surgeons onto the land, right? Or do I want to play logger instead? Play logger instead, I have two loggers standing there. I mean, that's pretty threatening, right? And the next turn, I have primary surgeons onto the land. The next turn, I just want to slam Helene, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can slam Helene through a pro factor if I primary surgeons now, which I should. So yeah, I'll do that. But this is where the insane starts that this deck can get. And I'm hoping to get more of these, like, because if I get these insane starts, that's how I win games. Next turn, I slam Helene. I think I mice her, because it makes things really annoying for an opponent. Let's steal the recall. Okay, sure. I mean, I don't need recall. I have no recalls in hand. And, yeah, reveal library. Where is it? I mean, you, you, get, my, you get to exile my recalls, but, like, what, have that, what has that actually accomplished? Because recalls isn't my main game plan here. And my main game plan is to get Charter Vasts down and Layer on Alphas to eventually overrun you. I mean, it's still decent value, but no, it's not even value. You're not getting any card advantage off of this, right? It's just a single scry. And now you have no way to deal with the Helene, because I can get through a Cosmic Sinkhole and a Portal Factor. Do you have anything else that can counter it on um, two mana? No, you don't. So yeah, Helene is resolving next turn. I'm probably going to minus her right away, so that I can't really uh, play any Planeswalkers on Curve. Or do I, should I plus her? I should minus her so that, uh, to protect, protect against removal spells, maybe? I'm not sure. So does she die to Fair Trial? Does, and they have two copies of Fair Trial. They also have Bukatsu of Lucian's Trail, probably. But a creature or enchantment. It doesn't help Helene during their turn, okay. Anyway, so I play Helene, I plus her, I swing with Slogger Reckless, draw a card. Is that better than Helene minus? If they Fair Trial to deal with the Helene, what happens? I still have these loggers lying around, and they're swinging each turn. Yeah, and I draw one card off the Logger Reckless, so like, I think plusing Helene is probably the best thing to do here. What, what's something super threatening they have on 3? They just don't have anything super threatening on 3, right? Yeah. Alright, so... Elaine. Alright, and... 
Go up to five, make the stands, because apparently it's not in the token script yet. They probably need to go fix that eventually. And same with Lager Reckless. They take, so I get to draw a card, an island, and I'll just play Lager Reckless. If they want to the portal factory my single Lager Reckless, then feel free to, because that's one less portal factory going towards a different card. Uh, should I? Uh, nah, I should, I should play around Portal Factor right now, right? I can, I can definitely afford to play around Portal Factor, and I can, like, play around Portal Factor even if I have more stuff. Like, Lemur Alpha is the only thing I can't pay for Portal Factor for. And, like, having Lager Reckless in the back pocket against Portal Factor, is that? Or, I mean, Cosmic Synchro, what am I talking about? It's Cosmic Synchro. Yeah, I'll let eat up a Cosmic Synchro. Actually, I just realized, if they have removal into removal, then I have nothing. Or if they have a Cosmic Synchro here. Did that resolve? Okay, so it did take a while, so maybe they do have Cosmic Synchro and they're considering whether to use it on Lager Reckless or not, or save it for later. Once they know what my hand is, then they definitely should have used it here. I think it's going to be drawing more cards with the stance. Okay, they're going to... What can they... They can Crystal Wave, I guess. Uh, Torn Fields? Sure. I'm assuming it's Crystal Wave here. Or Violent Collapse. Yeah, sure. That's fine too. Maybe that's why I shouldn't play out both loggers, but... Or still a Violent Collapse from them, which is pretty nice. A Serious Counteract. Now what I want to draw here, so I think I kind of have to, Helene. Uh, does Lucian wreck me? Does it hit creatures? Okay, good. So what on um, 4 wrecks me? If they had Fair Trial, they would play it already. But they don't have Fair Trial. And no point in doing anything else. Yeah, I should just uh, plus Helene and make a stance. And I guess swing with her. Take, and that's a lot of lands in a row. Uh, that's not great, but it could have been worse. Like, I could have gotten this draw while I know Helene's in play. They can double void slayer this thing if they have another red source, I guess. And at this point, I'm just in the top deck waiting room because I have a lot of good top decks. I guess a lot of bad top decks too. Because if I get primal resurgence again, then that's not great. Okay, yeah, sure. So the great thing about Helene is that it's not creatures in the opponent's turn, so they can't Lucian it. So I think they're just forced to plus Lucian. Uh, reveal monkey shines, sure. I'm hoping for a uh, layer and alpha top deck, and that's exactly what I needed. I think I swing Helene and one of the wolves at Lucian and the rest at face. And that, or no, I just swing everything at face and it's lethal. Well then, that was an easy game. Uh, so game 3 is going to be a hard one though. Uh, I'll board out one recall because I want to get everything sealed. I'll board in one more logger recluse, I guess. Is pronouncer good? Like, it dies to bind collapse, but at the same time... Maybe Pellis is what... Oh, right, I don't have enough copies of that. Uh, bow, maybe? Do I want bow back? Maybe I just do want mono lairans, because... Uh, Leran doesn't get countered by, or if I have enough mana backup, then Leran doesn't get countered by anything on my opponent's side. Well, I'm not a draw, right? So I think that means I want more Log of Recluses, right? Is that the logic I'm going with? Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'll go with this. So did I get the insane hand? No, I don't. I have the mulligan. This is an all right hand, yeah. So did I bottom a land here? I, forbid I have Forbidden Treasure. I have Primal Resurgence. Uh, turn one is going to be Forest, Primal Resurgence onto Forest. Turn two is going to be Fetching. Uh, that basic thing. So I'm going to be losing a bunch of life, but I think it's probably worth it. Like, if I can get the turn 2 Tamiya, that's really good. So I'll bomb the land here. Maybe I should bomb the Helene instead, but whatever. So if they have Cosmic Sync on the Primal Resurgence, it's suddenly really bad for me. But maybe I can draw into a land to get out of this. Well, they don't have Cosmic Sync, wonderful. Maybe they should, like, at least try to represent Cosmic Sync, at least try a little hard to do that. Because now I just get to worry-free play Primal Resurgence on my island. Uh, oops. And let me... I don't know about you, but... This looks pretty good. Like next turn I get to play Tamio. If if they decide to tap out next turn again, then yeah, just get to drop Tamio. If they decide to Valdez me, well they can't actually get Tamio. Portal Factor. Alright, so do I want to run Tamio into the Portal Factor? I think the answer is yes, because I have nothing better to do. So I run Tamio into Portal Factor and the next turn I hopefully I draw a land and can run out Helene. If I don't do that, then what? I just have to log a recluse, and that's really bad for me. Because I can't I don't get even get to play a land off logger. There's actually just no other play other than running out Tamio there. I'll go for it. And see Psychral wax me again. Anyways, uh, show me the counter spell. Cosmic can kill, sure. So if I don't draw anything next turn, I play Forest, play out Logger, and don't even get to hold up for Ban Treasure because my lands don't tap very well. Alright, what do I do here? Uh, for holding up for Ban Treasure, there's no reason to hold up for Ban Treasure because I'm not countering anything next turn anyways. Like The most impactful thing I can counter is a Planeswalker, which for Ban Treasure doesn't hit. So basically, I should have, uh, I definitely should have bought Helene instead of the land. Maybe I'll eventually learn to not buy him land in the opening hand in this deck. But thinking about it, so thinking about countering Lager Recluse, does that mean they have no removal in hand? Lager on, in play does contest a Planeswalker, so if they play Lucian, they have to minus on the Lager first. 
Oh, they let it resolve. Never mind. I stopped scrolling. Okay, that's not great for me. I admit. Okay. So if they tap out for Lucian here, okay, they don't tap out for Lucian. But if I don't draw a land, I think I just have to hold up Forbidden Treasure forever, basically. This is a land, but not the land I want. Please flip a land off this. Yeah, I'm forced to put it on top, but I don't want to put it on top. In fact, maybe I just don't put it on top. I can't recall with backup. No, I can't. Mm. I think I pass hold up Forbidden Treasure, try to... Well, if I have Zan again, what do I do? Can't do anything. I think like I actually bought recall here because I just need lands right now. Yeah, which is really astonishing, but that's kind of just how, how the game's going right now. I do I attack the Flogger and tap myself out of Forbidden Treasure? What's the most broken thing they can do with Forbidden Treasure, right? Or do with instant blue sources right now? And the answer is not really much. In fact, why did I even board in Forbidden Treasure? This thing doesn't hit half their deck and does, hits nothing super important. It's like boarding Forbidden Treasure against me. Yeah. Right, so if, if I'm not holding up Forbidden Treasure, then I should attack here. And they just let through. Okay. They don't do anything with their... Do they have a handful of counter spells? In that case, I'll just keep rocking down with Log and Recluse. If they tap out for Zanagan here, I drop Helene. Okay, their hand is entirely counter spells. Wonderful. Uh, Tamiel's not what I want to draw here. I need lands. Just lands. If I have a land, I can place a, play a spell with Forbidden Treasure backup. I think here I attack Log and Recluse with Forbidden Treasure backup. It's just do stuff with Forbidden Treasure backup. If I draw, eventually I'll draw a fifth land and then I can play Tamil with Forbidden Treasure backup. So yeah, and what do you do? They take? Okay, sure. Now, do you have anything to do at the end of turn? You're going to pump Monument, right? That's worrying because I have no answer to Monument other than just outpacing it. Monkey Shines, sure. Like if they drop Illusion though, that means I get, they tap out so I get to drop my thing. Maybe they get, eventually get greedy so I can Forbidden Treasure whatever they play during their turn. Most likely not though. All right. Okay, so please draw a land, not a land. Yeah, that's not great. Mm. Am I giving my opponent too much time if I just don't do anything? Yeah, so I should start playing my things into Forbidden Treasure, but then Logger isn't attacking. I just play Helene. Yeah, because I want my 3 drop. If I draw land, I want to be able to play my 3 drop plus a Forbidden Treasure, so I should just like go with my most expensive play right now, which is Helene, and I like it countered so that they don't pump Monument next turn. And they counter with the Cosmic Sinkhole. Mm. So that means they don't have any Berry Counter spells, so they definitely don't have Portal Factor because they would have used it. So are they, they only have a single Cosmic Sinkhole, then in, case, in that case, what's their other cards in hand? Are they just keeping back their Planes of Arcos because Log and Reckless wrecks them with? Oh, uh, alright. Uh, crumbling. Uh, well, I mean, nothing better to do. Okay, there we go. There, that's the land I need. I have Layer and Alpha coming up soon. I'm still stuck on the same mana amount, so I need to run, run, into some, run something into a counter spell. Because if I don't do that, then they just pump Monument, and then, that, then that's really bad for me. So, I mean, Tamiel's more valuable, right? Is it more valuable than Peril Scouter? I mean, it's more immediate, at least, so... Yeah, I should probably just run out Peril Scouter. So, what's your counter spell here? Cosmic Sinkhole again? Sure. They get to pump mine again. Next turn, I get to drop Layer and Alpha, I guess? I mean, if they try to play a Planeswalker, I just get to drop Layer and Alpha on them. Unfortunately, not with Forbidden Treasure backup. And they can drop a Planeswalker with Cosmic backup, but they all use two Cosmics. So maybe they don't have two Cosmics now. Maybe I should have just been running my things into Cosmics instead of uh, Attack with Logger those two turns. I'm just not doing anything again. Alright, I mean, I could finally play Tamu with backup. So I play Tamu, I minus four to draw some cards, and I drop Logger Recluse with another land. Yep, seems solid. So, uh, do you have a counter spell? If it's a Crystal Wave, I get to Forbidden Treasure it. It's a Crystal Wave, there you go. You have another counter spell. You do. Unfortunate. Well, so that means next turn I get to Layer and Alpha, because surely they're out of counter spells by now. Wait, they're going to let it resolve? No, of course not, right? Yeah, Cosmic Synco again. I mean, you're out of counter spells now, right? So yeah, I definitely should have uh, started casting into my opponent's spells way earlier than this, like instead of attacking with Logger. Because if I did that, then I think they probably would have been out of counter spells by now. Uh, anyways, Logger Recluse comes down, and... Well, uh, if you have a Vine Claps, you can use it here. And Layer Alpha is coming down soon. Hopefully you're out of counter spells by then. And if that doesn't work, then I can recall Forgotten Aeons afterwards if I draw a land. I mean, you can't really play Planeswalkers into this board because I just attack you with Loggers and then the Planeswalker dies. And of course, I also have the layer in the back pocket that they don't know about, I think. Oh god, no. Uh, they know about layer end, don't they? Okay, so now I have to top deck a land in order to play Recall for Gone Aeons. Or I animate Crumbly Shrine and start attacking because clearly they don't have any, maybe they don't have any uh, removal because they would have used it by now or something. But basically, I'm just looking for top decks to get me out of this. I mean, lands are good. What's not good here? I don't think there's anything that's super not good. Yeah, so I'm just gonna play out Recall Forgotten Aeons. If you want to counter this, then feel free to, because that means you're not pumping Monument for a turn. Resolves. Okay, they're out of counter spells. Wonderful. 
uh, no land, but now I have a hand. So I can charge a bass with Forbidden Treasure back up next turn. Unfortunately, they get to pump Monument, and Monument is going to put a clock on me. But Recall is also putting a clock on them, so... You know, they, have, they need a removal spell to deal with the Recall for Gone Aeon, so that's going to be whacking them. Uh, they're going to pump Monument, right? Yeah. Actually, how do I beat Monument? Hmm. It's, like, it's already at 3. It, you can whack me for... Okay, yeah, there we have They have it. They have a removal spell. They just need to charge the vast into a bunch of layer on alphas. Layer on alpha is how I'm winning this, I think. Maybe sack bow sort of too, but less likely. Log reckless again. So yeah, here I just uh, charge the vast, try to flip into stuff. The moment gets so four. Next turn you can attack for five, and then I have to. I don't think I win the race. So yeah, I just need to get a bunch of layer ants. If a bunch of layer ants does win the race, so a bunch of layer ants, bunch of ramp. So yeah, charge the vast. You have a response to this. If you want to tap out for a response, I can forbid and treasure it. Uh, they know about forbid and treasure, actually. I don't think they're going to counter it. They're just going to help buy it next turn. Okay, so one drop. That's not the three drop I want, but do I take it anyways because I don't want to take a land and then break myself? I think the answer is yes, right? Yeah, I take the three drop. Okay, that's not great. I need to take Shifting Gate here. Or do I take Shifting Gate instead of Crumbling Shrine? Yes, I take Shifting Gate so I can put Primal onto Forest and play something else this turn, like the Recall. Okay, another chart to Vast, so that's my 5 drop. Now I need to just not whiff. Hmm, that's a lot of primal resurgences, maybe that's something. I mean, that's not a great part though. Uh, yeah, so I need to chart again next turn, which I don't have enough time to chart because Monument's swinging in. How do I deal with Monument? I have no way to deal with Monument. That's really annoying. Uh, do I have another land play next turn, or this turn? Okay, I don't have land player. Well, I have a land player remaining, so primal resurgence again. Like if they do counter spell, I think that's actually good for me because that means they're not like pumping their monument. Oh right, chart's actually dead. Okay, let resolve. Okay. So do I play bow plus logger? Or do I play or I can play bow plus resurgence or I can play recall and hope to hit another thing. I mean, if I play recall and gets countered, I think I'm happy with that. Right? Yeah, because it's one less turn of monument swinging in. Okay, I'll go for recall. Did I resolve? Okay, so they don't have any counter spells. I mean that bit's obvious enough. Uh, Mysterious Cataract has to be one I draw. Hmm. I play Untap so I can play Primal Resurgence. How much does 2 life matter here? So this goes to 4, 5, 6, that's 11. Two life doesn't matter, right? Uh, so, like 5, 6. That's the, so basically it's the difference between a Void player or not. Do I think my opponent has a Void player? They probably do, but I don't want to play around that. I think I have to play this Tapped. I just can't afford to take any more damage. How much more mana is this giving me? I'm basically like betting that I'm going to win the game faster than they can mime me. Uh, I'll play this untapped. If I get punished for it, then whatever. I kind I kind of deserve it. Like, I just need as much mana as I can get my hands on for next turn because I need to win next turn. So my uh, next turn, I'm charging into bat. I'm charging into a bunch of layer and alphas. That's my only way out. Actually, sack bowl. How much is sack bowl gaining me? Gaining five. So it's giving me seven. Mind collapse. Sure. You can't animate monument now, so. They would that worry about Logger Reckless? Do they see that they have Lethal like coming up with Monument? Do they have a counter spell? Because if they don't have a counter spell, then I'm kind of just off the races. And they have no way to counter Tamiel, right? Well, they have uh, they have Cursed Glance, but I can just counter that with, uh, with Forbidden Treasure. So I chart, and then I probably get a land so I can play Tamiel, pr Pronouncer, Tamiel, and then whenever I draw off the chart. Yep, seems solid. So, chart the Vast. Do you have a counter for this? I resolve, okay. There's layer and alpha number one, or I guess number two, because number one's already in the graveyard. I take Tamiya here. I mean, yeah, Tamiya's plus mana, so I take her because, like, there's no way she's actually bad for me. A longer recluse is my one drop, which is not the one, one drop I want, but I don't want these lands either. Forbidden Treasure is kind of useless right now, so I'll take the land instead. Is that going to come back to bite me? Hopefully not. Okay, I can still get a two drop, so that's bow or pronouncer. Pronouncer would be really good. Yeah, I'm looking really. I'm looking really forward to pronounce her. So hopefully I hit it. No, I don't. Okay, so that's the end of my chart. But Tamiya can draw some more cards. But do I take Pal? Uh, do I need more cards? And I don't need more lands right now. But I'll, I'll take Pelscar, I guess. And all these guys go to hand. A land play remaining. So I can play Pelscar onto the forest, and then now pronounce her is making insane amount, amounts of mana. And then so pronounce her Tamiya draw Tamiya on tap. Like, can I Tamiya draw into? I have the mana to do that. Uh, I'll count later, but right now I should just like focus on getting as much mana as possible. So Pell uh, Pel Scatter. I'm assuming they don't have any counter spells because they would use it already by now. So then uh, maybe I should have sequenced this better so pronouncer like actually sees all these auras, but whatever. So one, two, three, four, five. 
Renata preserves, comes down, makes a land aura, and makes a token. And I can actually just play Tamiel straight up. So I'll just play her now and draw with her first. Oh, well, GG. I mean, uh, like, they had, they could have raised me's monument, I think, right? Like, if they just pumped monument more, they, they attack me, like, so monument up to five, uh, whack me, and then monument up to six, whack me again. That's 11 damage, and then to whack me again, I'm dead, and they're like 11 life up. I don't think I, could, I can one turn lay around them from 11 life, or 14 plus 11 life. Well, I mean, okay, I'll really my hand too, because, I mean, they already know what's in my hand, but it, I think, like, they kind of, I definitely, they definitely could have won this game, I think. What, what's Provincial even hit? They, I don't think I even cast that, right? Or oh, it got countered, but I guess it did make them play sort of awkwardly. I guess that's the game. I, I feel like both uh, games, this GP, I kind of got undeserved wins. Or not undeserved, but like I feel like my opponent probably could have won if they tried harder. But anyways, yeah, that's the game. See you in the next round. I mean, I'm 2-0 now. That's a good sign for this 4-peat if I want to get, go for that.